Allied UAV overhead. Hunt. Yo, what is going on YouTube? I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Milano. Now, I'm letting you guys know right now that I'm recording this intro in the new season, season 2. So, I hope you guys don't mind. But yeah, I was using Milano in this gameplay. Uh, all I'm going to say is Milano is still kind of decent. It does good from long to mid range up close. It does all right. You just got to make sure you hit your headshots. But yeah, I really recommend you guys use the Milano if you guys are bored using like the any meta guns like the MP40 and all that. But before we get into the video, I need you guys to comment, like, and subscribe with notifications on so you never miss when I upload a brand new video just like this one. There's at least 51% of you guys that are not subscribed, so I really appreciate it. If you guys can go down below and subscribe, it only takes two seconds. But yeah, my Milano build will be at the end of the video. I'll see you at the end. Peace out. Wait, 
Out of fuel. Turning for resupply. Time to cover your tracks. There's an enemy team hunting for you. They were both, they were all three in there. I think there's one on roof. Allied cluster strike arriving. Move to the space zone. No. 
So the attachments I was using on Milano was Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, 55 Run Jump, and the Raider Stock. But yeah, like I said, Milano still beams a little bit from long to mid range up close. It does a little bit of damage as well. You just gotta make sure you hit your headshots. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and peace out.